Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal No Healing in Battle Nuzlocke Challenge. In the last episode, we entered the Pokemon League and took down the first Elite Four member being Elite Four Will with the Psychic-type Pokemon. And we did it single-handedly with Deimos barely taking damage at all. And in this episode, we are going through to the second room of the Elite Four. We're going to be facing off against Elite Four Koga. But first, there are a couple adjustments on my team that I would like to point out. I did heal Deimos, the little bit of damage he took, and I did give some new Pokemon some items. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and lead with Grandpa for this fight. And I did change a few things. So I gave Grandpa a Poison Cure Berry, for clearly obvious reasons. And I also gave Ikari a Poison Cure Berry. But that's not the only thing I did. I gave Angel an item, and you might be like, why would you give Angel a Poison Cure Berry? She's a Steel type. Well, I didn't. I gave her a Mystery Berry, which is basically a Lepa Berry. It cures your power points. This is insanely, insanely minute strategy. There's very low chance I have to use that, but I'll get into it when I get into that part of the fight. It's just preparing for the ultimate worst case scenario. I know it's weird, but it's going to be more helpful than the metal coat was going to be worth. So, yeah, I'm going to lead with Grandpa. I believe Grandpa should be ready to go. Yeah. So, let's start it up. I'm worried for him, but let's talk to him and get this show on the road. Ha 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 ha! I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in the shadows, a ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister technique. Ha ha! Pokemon is not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. Time for the second Elite Four member of the Pokemon Crystal No Healing in Battle Nuzlocke Challenge versus Elite Four Koga, the Poison Type Master of the Kanto and Johto Elite Four. Let's do this! And first up is going to be Ariados. That's a Poison Bug type. It's going to be level 40. I need your help, Grandpa. Let's do this, buddy. All right. Let's clear it immediately. I'm almost certain based on Grandpa's stats that Return will be more than Fire Punch. And it should clear this thing instantly. Because our Grandpa loves us. Clear that Ariados, buddy. It did. Nice work. All right. What's next? There's a Pokemon that I'm really worried about. And this isn't it. All right. Next up is going to be Venomoth. Now, I think Venomoth has lower defense than special defense, so we're going to return it as well. Get rid of this Venomoth for us, Gramps! I'm sure it'll be enough. I don't really see why it wouldn't. Venomoth's a poison bug type, level 41, and it's done. All right, next is going to be the Pokemon I fear the most. It is. It's going to be Fortress. It's a bug steel type, level 43, and this thing is packing explosion. If it gets it off on any of my Pokemon other than Angel, I can kiss them goodbye, and I need Grandpa to roast this bagworm now. Fire Punch! It's a special attack in this generation. I'm certain it'll be enough. And it was. Great. Big fear done. Thank you, Grandpa. I think I'm done with you for this fight, because next up is going to be Muck. It's a poison type, level 42, and I'm going to use Earthquake. But if it uses the attack I'm worried about, I need Angel's help. Earthquake this thing, Gramps! I'm very sh sure it's not gonna be enough. It was. Nice work, Grandpa! Oh, I'll explain the mystery, Barry, now. If that thing used Minimize... I would have had to use Swift. And it has Acid Armor. If it raised its defense so high, and all I could do was Swift, I very well might have ran out of PP at some point. And I wanted Mystery Berry just in case. It's better safe than sorry. And hopefully we can take this Crobat out with a return. But Double Team's also there. That's why I wanted the Mystery Berry. Because if I ran out of them for Muck, I would be in trouble for Crobat. 
But luckily, Grandpa hits with return, and I think that's gonna be a flawless Koga fight. It was. Nice work, Grandpa! You did amazing! I'm so glad that you're still here. For now. Because there's still a lot of fight left. But that's it for Koga. I subjected you to everything I could muster. But my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. And we'll be doing that in the next episode, which if you're watching this live, will be up very shortly. Until then, I'll see you guys when we fight off against Bruno. See you guys next time.